Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like Bryflace, grilled meat, often seasoned with spices, and a popular street food in Swaziland. Bryflace is a traditional South African and Swazi term that translates to grilled meat or barbecued meat. It's a popular and beloved style of cooking in the region, including Swaziland. Bryflace involves grilling various types of meat, such as beef, lamb, chicken, and sausages, over an open flame or on a barbecue, bry, grill. Here's a basic overview of how to prepare and enjoy bryflace. Ingredients. Meat of your choice, e.g., steaks, chops, sausages, chicken pieces. Marinade or spices, optional. Charcoal or wood for the grill. Fire starter or charcoal chimney. Instructions. Prepare the grill. Start by lighting the charcoal or wood in your grill. You can use a fire starter, charcoal chimney, or even a few fire lighters to get the fire going. Let the coals or wood burn until they are covered with white ash, indicating they are ready for cooking. Season the meat, optional. You can marinate the meat in advance with your choice of spices, herbs, and marinades. Popular choices include garlic, rosemary, thyme, lemon juice, Worcestershire sauce, or a simple mixture of salt and pepper. Let the meat marinate for at least 30 minutes or longer for more flavor. Grill the meat. Once the coals or wood are ready, spread them evenly in the grill. Place the meat directly over the coals or flame, keeping a close eye on it as it cooks. The cooking time will vary depending on the type and thickness of the meat. Turn the meat regularly to ensure even cooking. Use long-handled tongs or a fork for this purpose. Check for doneness. Use a meat thermometer to check the internal temperature of the meat. The recommended internal temperatures are approximately 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 63 degrees Celsius, for medium rare beef, 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 degrees Celsius, for chicken, and 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 63 degrees Celsius, for lamb. Rest and serve. Allow the grilled meat to rest for a few minutes before serving. This helps the juices redistribute and keeps the meat tender. Siswadla. Grilled Chicken Skewers, a favorite snack among locals. Siswadla is a popular street food in Swaziland, and it's especially known for its deliciousness as a grilled chicken skewer. These skewers are simple to make and packed with flavor, making them a favorite snack and street food item. Here's a basic recipe for making Siswadla. Ingredients. Chicken pieces, boneless thigh or breast meat works well. Marinade ingredients, optional. You can use a variety of seasonings and marinades such as a mix of lemon juice, garlic, ginger, paprika, and salt. Instructions. Prepare the marinade, optional. If you choose to marinate the chicken for added flavor, prepare the marinade by mixing ingredients like lemon juice, minced garlic, minced ginger, paprika, and salt in a bowl. Prepare the chicken. Cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces, ensuring they are relatively uniform in size. This helps with even cooking. If you're using a marinade, Place the chicken pieces in a zip-top bag or a bowl and pour the marinade over them. Seal the bag or cover the bowl and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes, allowing the flavors to infuse into the chicken. Skewer the chicken. Thread the marinated chicken pieces onto skewers. You can use metal skewers or wooden skewers that have been soaked in water for about 30 minutes to prevent burning. Grill the siswadla. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Place the chicken skewers on the grill, ensuring they are evenly spaced. Grill the chicken for about 8 to 10 minutes, turning the skewers occasionally. The chicken is done when it's no longer pink in the center and has a nice char on the outside. Cooking times may vary depending on the size of the chicken pieces and the heat of your grill. Serve. Remove the siswadla from the grill and let them rest for a couple of minutes. Serve the grilled chicken skewers hot as a delicious street food snack or as part of a meal. They pair well with a variety of sauces and salads. Siswadla is a delightful and flavorful street food option in Swaziland, and it's enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. The simplicity of the recipe, combined with the bold flavors of the marinade, makes it a favorite street food for many. Borrower's Rolls Grilled sausage served in a bun, usually with condiments like tomato sauce and onions. Borrower's Rolls are a beloved South African and Swazi street food that features borrowers, a flavorful sausage, served in a roll or bun, often with various toppings and condiments. Borrowers is a type of sausage made from a blend of ground beef, pork, and spices, and it's famous for its delicious taste. Here's how to make borrowers rolls. Ingredients. Borrowers, enough for the number of rolls you plan to make. 
Fresh rolls or bread rolls, like hot dog buns. Butter or margarine, optional. Tomato sauce or ketchup. Mustard. Grilled onions, optional. Sliced tomatoes, lettuce, or coleslaw, optional. Instructions. Prepare the borrowers. Borrowers typically comes in a long, continuous spiral. If needed, cut it into individual sausage lengths that fit the size of your rolls. Grill the borrowers. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Place the borrowers on the grill, ensuring that the sausages are evenly cooked. Grill for about 15 to 20 minutes, turning them occasionally until they are browned and cooked through. Prepare the rolls. While the borrowers is grilling, you can prepare the rolls. Optionally, you can spread some butter or margarine on the inside of the rolls and lightly toast them on the grill for extra flavor. Assemble the borrower's rolls. Once the borrower's is cooked to your liking, remove it from the grill. Place a borrower's sausage inside each roll. Add your desired toppings, which may include tomato sauce or ketchup, mustard, grilled onions, sliced tomatoes, lettuce, or coleslaw. Serve. Serve the borrower's rolls hot and enjoy this delicious South African and Swazi street food. Borrower's rolls are not only a tasty and filling street food but also a popular choice for barbecues and outdoor gatherings in South Africa and Swaziland. The combination of the flavorful sausage and a variety of toppings creates a satisfying and memorable culinary experience. Biltong. Dried and cured meat, similar to jerky, often made from beef or game meats. Biltong is a popular South African and Swazi snack that's similar to beef jerky but with its own distinct flavor and preparation method. It's made from air-dried, cured, and seasoned strips of meat, typically beef, although game meats like kudu, springbok, or ostrich are also used. Biltong is known for its savory, salty, and slightly tangy taste. Here's how to make biltong. Ingredients. Beef, or game meat, lean cuts like sirloin or rump work best. Coarse salt, kosher salt or sea salt. Coarse black pepper. Ground coriander seeds, optional. Vinegar, malt vinegar or brown vinegar. Brown sugar, optional for a slightly sweet flavor. Worcestershire sauce, optional. Instructions. Prepare the meat. Start with lean cuts of meat and trim any excess fat. Slice the meat into thin strips, usually about 1 quarter to 1 half inch thick and 1 to 2 inches wide. The strips should be cut along the grain of the meat. Season the meat. In a bowl, mix together the coarse salt, coarse black pepper, and ground coriander seeds if using. You can adjust the quantities to your taste, but a common ratio is 4 parts salt to 1 part pepper, with a small amount of coriander. Optionally, add brown sugar and Worcestershire sauce for added flavor. Rub the seasoning mixture evenly over the meat strips, ensuring they are well coated. Be generous with the seasoning. Marinate the meat. Place the seasoned meat in a non-metallic container and pour vinegar over it. The vinegar helps to tenderize the meat and adds flavor. Seal the container and refrigerate for several hours or overnight to marinate. The longer it marinates, the more flavorful the biltong will be. Air dry the meat. Remove the meat from the marinade and pat it dry with paper towels. Hang the meat strips in a well-ventilated area, such as a cool, dry place or a biltong box. Ensure that there is good airflow to aid in the drying process. Allow the meat to air dry for several days to a week, or until it reaches your desired level of dryness. It should be firm and dry to the touch but not overly hard. Slice and serve. Once the biltong has dried to your liking, slice it into thin strips for serving. Biltong can be enjoyed as a snack on its own or as part of a charcuterie board. Biltong is a flavorful and protein-rich snack that's popular in South Africa, Swaziland, and other Southern African countries. Its long shelf life and savory taste make it a favorite snack for travelers, hikers, and outdoor enthusiasts. Magayu. A traditional African fermented maize drink, often enjoyed as a refreshing beverage. Magayu, also known as, Amahawu, in some South African regions, is a traditional South African and Swazi fermented beverage made from maize, corn, or sorghum. It's a popular and culturally significant drink enjoyed by people of all ages. Magayu can be described as a thick, slightly sour, and mildly sweet porridge-like beverage. Here's how to make it. Ingredients. Maize meal or sorghum meal. Water. Sugar, optional. Yeast, traditional fermentation, or baking powder, modern method. Instructions. Traditional fermentation method. Prepare the maize or sorghum. Start by washing and soaking the maize or sorghum in water for several hours or overnight. 
This helps soften the grains and prepares them for milling. Grind the grains. After soaking, drain the grains and grind them into a coarse meal using a food processor or a traditional grinding stone. Prepare the slurry. In a large pot, mix the ground maize or sorghum with enough water to create a smooth slurry. The consistency should be thick but pourable. Cook the slurry. Place the pot on low to medium heat and cook the slurry, stirring constantly to prevent lumps from forming. The goal is to cook the maize or sorghum until it thickens into a smooth, porridge-like consistency. Cool the slurry. Allow the cooked slurry to cool to room temperature. It should have the consistency of a thick porridge. Fermentation. Add a small amount of yeast, about 1 to 2 teaspoons, to the cooled slurry. Mix well. Cover the pot with a lid or cloth and let it sit in a warm, dark place for about 8 to 24 hours to ferment. During fermentation, the mixture will develop a slightly sour taste and become bubbly. Sweeten, optional. If desired, you can sweeten the magayu with sugar to taste. Mix in the sugar until it's fully dissolved. Serve. Magayu is traditionally served chilled. Refrigerate it until it's cold and then serve it in a glass or bowl. Modern Quick Method. If you don't want to go through the traditional fermentation process, you can make a quicker version of magayu using baking powder. Simply mix maize meal or sorghum meal with water and a small amount of baking powder to create a thick, pourable slurry. Sweeten it with sugar if desired, and serve chilled. Magayu is a nutritious and refreshing beverage enjoyed throughout South Africa and Swaziland. It's often consumed as a cooling drink on hot days and is appreciated for its unique flavor and cultural significance.